All right. I think uh, because he's probably staying past his bedtime, we should get Coach O'Hanlon on. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Fran, if you're with us, uh, we say hello to you. Uh, obviously, coming off uh, last night's ball game at Syracuse, uh, Jim Beheim, 46 years coaching. Coach O'Hanlon, 27 years coaching. 73 years of coaching on the sideline last night. That had to just uh, be a great experience for you, your players, and uh, and obviously I know you and Coach Bayham are probably pretty close. Well, you know, as I told uh, some of the people up there, uh, and by the way, Gary, I'm always with you. You know that. Uh, <laughs> I'm with you, win or tie, uh, as they say. Um, but Coach Bayham and I played together for two days up at uh, in the Eastern League, which is like the old G League, um, and up in um, in in Scranton. And uh, at the end of the two days, uh, Coach Bayheim said, you know, I'm going to give this up playing in the Eastern League and just concentrate on coaching. And I thought to myself, well, where that, where's that going to lead you? Um, <laughs> uh, obviously, it led him to a pretty good place, to the Hall of Fame and, uh, and all, those, all those good things, you know. Uh, so he was a lot smarter than I, am. I was and still is a lot smarter than I am. <laughs> Well, obviously, it was a tough ball game, as it was expected to be. You know, you don't just take on Coach Bayheim; You take on uh, Jimmy Bayheim and Buddy Bayheim, And I don't know how many other Bayheims were in the, uh, in the center last night. But talk a little bit about what you took away from that game. Well, yeah, that, you know, when you talk about zone defenses uh, in America, uh, that's the premier, you know, defensive unit in America as far as playing the zone. And you're not used to playing uh, against a team like that or with, with that kind of length. And uh, you don't work as much against it as well. So it was, it was uh, quite an experience for us. I think we learned some things about it. I think there were some good things that occurred in the game. Obviously, it did not end the way we would have liked. But I did think that, uh, you know, there was a lot of bright spots. Um, and right now where our, where our team is, you know, whether it's practice or in, in the scrimmages, we're, we've been consistently inconsistent. You know, we've had some very good moments and some moments that, you know, we need to uh, get better at. I kidded you uh, when we did our little bit of pregame uh, just about a week ago. You know, you now have Penn, Duke, Rutgers, Columbia away. Uh, Cornell, obviously, on Friday night will be there for that ball game on ESPN+. Plus. Um, but you've never had a schedule like this as an independent schedule, right? No, th this is, uh, this is quite a schedule. And as, uh, as they asked me uh, before, and, uh, they said, you know, what, what's with this schedule? I said, well, Kansas and, uh, and Kentucky were ducking us, you know, I mean, uh, <laughs> made, it, made the, made the trifecta there, whatever, whatever that happens to be. Um, but no, it, it is quite a schedule and, and, and so early, uh, as we know, um, and as I, as we are, as a staff, we know we're going to get better as a basketball team. These games will only help us as we get more used to playing in these kind of arenas. It was funny, my uh, my Irish guard, you know, uh, CJ Fulton said, you know, the place is only half full with uh, twenty thousand people. <laughs> uh, I guess you haven't played in front of that many people. No, he says we don't have places like that. In Ireland, um, I said not a lot of places like that in America as well. Uh, but it, it was a great experience for us. I'm sure it is, and I'm sure heading to places like like Duke uh, will certainly be something your players will remember for the rest of their lives. Absolutely. Tell us, I, I have one question. You know, with Kia, we got three recruits. With you, we're only going to have one. So tell us about why there's just one recruit uh, on signing day. Well, we will uh, we will have two eventually because uh, Thomas um, Verbinskis uh, will be leaving as well as as Ty and graduating this year. Mm -hmm. So uh, for us, you know, you have two signing periods. You have the early signing period and the later signing period. For us, we wanted to see kind of get a feel for our team as far as you know uh, what our uh, real needs are. You know, we're still recruiting. We're recruiting people, but we kind of backed off of signing anybody else early to see where our, our needs kind of fall. Um, we, we needed somebody to, to replace Thomas. Uh, and that's why we recruited very hard. We recruited Kyle. Um, and right now we're just trying to figure out, you know, what's the next, what's the next step. 
Well, that leads us right into taking a look at Kyle in action. He's a 6'8 guard. Uh, he weighs 190 pounds. Kyle Squires out of Kingston, Massachusetts. Father is Bob. Mom is Robin. And uh, boy, everybody's going to get excited when they watch this video. So here's John. Here's Coach O'Hanlon. Yeah, a friend, 6'8", and uh, you talk about his ability to, to shoot the basketball, but I think what I like most is, um, you, you know, you, you, you work so hard um, at, at teaching these kids how to shoot, and when I say that, I mean from the waist down. Uh, there's a lot of high school kids that can shoot the ball just from the waist up, you know, and, and putting it ball in the basket, but at this level, uh, your footwork is critical. Now, he's got obviously great range. Look at how far out he's shooting the ball. But watch his footwork. He catches the ball always ready to shoot the ball. And I've seen so many of your uh, kids who become great shooters take, uh, you know, take a while to find their stroke at this level because you've got to change the way they do things fundamentally with Kyle. Uh, and I'll tell you, uh, Fran, you know, I, don't, I forgot where I was, uh, somewhere in upstate. And the day that he announced uh, and I don't know when he announced, he may, he may have told a friend, but somehow the word trickled down to me when I was out of town and someone said, boy, Lafayette just got a heck of a shooter out of New England. And of course they were talking about Kyle Squires. Yeah, he's a heck of a player, not just a shooter, but he, he is, he's a terrific shooter and obviously fills a huge need for us. And with us losing, uh, you know, Thomas Rubinskis and we're going to lose Leo. He's a three, four type who can really stretch the defense. He can also score a little bit inside, you know, uh, I think the sky's the limit for, for Kyle. He's, he's got a, a huge upside, as we like to talk about as, a, as coaches. Uh, but he's not, that being said, he's pretty good right now. Oh, you, you know, at, at the next level, as you know, it's a little bit about adjusting to the speed of the game and strength. Uh, and they're all things that will come with, with Kyle. He's got a great work ethic, great student, um, and um, – for us, we're we're thrilled to have him in our yeah, in the he, Lafayette family. Yeah, he he is a great guy. You saw him put it on the floor, take it to the basket, both left and right. He can distribute it. And for he him, plays for an excellent program in Northfield, Mount Hermon. Oh we're yeah, sent a, a lot of players to the uh, Patriot and Ivy League. Uh, John Carroll does an awesome job of uh, preparing these young men, and uh, we're very fortunate to to have Kyle. Yeah. Uh, and and I, as I said, I think it's a great fit for Kyle as well. Uh, Fran, before we go back to Gary, just uh, I was up in Syracuse yesterday. I, I didn't want to bug you. I had a chance to see, but we both had a chance to see a lot of old friends. Uh, but just two, two quick comments. You know, uh, I talked to my family uh, earlier today and they were listening to all the uh, post game jargon. And, you know, when you're a big time program like that. And I don't know if you knew this or not, but Jim Beheim in his post game comments was very complimentary. Uh, he thought that, uh, you know, very complimentary of you personally and very complimentary of our team thought we would do well in the Patriot League so that's my first comment didn't know if you know that the second comment would be uh, just make sure that the check doesn't bounce <laughs> <laughs> that's the well, so yeah. that's always the key there uh, just, uh, obviously but yeah as I said I go way back and, and that that's a good basketball team and it's a little bit different from those other teams as Absolutely. well oh, because yeah. they really shoot the ball well they still got the length and they shoot the ball extremely well. And uh, so uh, uh, I'm going to be pulling for them now that, you know, <laughs> that uh, they, they, you know, gave the, the leopards a lesson. Uh, I'll be pulling for them. But as I said, I think we come away with a lot of positives and getting that game out of, out of the way. Uh, certainly with still a couple of tough opponents coming. They're all tough. They're, they're, it's not easy winning in division one, as I tell our guys, you know, and, 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 uh, every game's a challenge. And now Cornell's coming off a win over Binghamton and, you know, they're, they're on the road, you know, on the road and they, and they play, you know, for college basketball. And one of the reasons you play these non-league uh, games, you know, it prepares you for our league as far as playing different styles. I mean, this is going to be a completely different style than uh, playing Syracuse because they up tempo the game. They press you the whole game. Uh, they really want to get up and down. So we got to be able to adjust to that as well, you know. All right. I think uh, let's Kyle's been waiting a long time. He came on at the beginning of the show. Uh, so let's introduce Kyle Squires to everybody. We mentioned Kingston, Massachusetts. Uh, Kyle, you know, I know highlight reels can be a little bit deceiving, but is there a shot you don't like? <laughs> I like any, I like any shot behind the three point line. So I can tell Coach O'Hanlon likes any shot behind the three point line. Well, not well, quite. Any. The basket's always open to me. That's you know? it. <laughs> I'll tell you, they could have used me at Syracuse last night. 
There you yeah, go. I like that. I like that. <laughs> we, no, we there's some in the game, pal. Kyle, you come from an athletic family. Your dad played some football at Springfield. Mom played some basketball at Richmond. You have an older sister, Emma. So talk a little bit about uh, your family and what, what role they played in your upbringing and, and uh, being the young man you are. Um, well, it's actually my sister uh, who plays at Richmond. So she's a senior right now, and uh, she's a captain there. So, um, But just growing up, there was a lot of uh, competitive one-on-one -on -one games with me and my sister in the backyard. So, um, But that's where I kind of fell in love with basketball, just playing in the backyard and um, just a really athletic family. So it's kind of where I found my love for the game. As I notice where you shoot from, you must have a big yard. <laughs> Very big yard, yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty big yard. You know, you're listed as a shooting guard, and the video certainly proved that. Uh, is that what drew you to Lafayette? Because obviously you have to love Fran's offense. If you shoot the threes, you move really well, and uh, you know you're going to get opportunities to, to knock those down. Definitely, yeah. I mean, Coach, Coach O's offense, I just feel like the way that everyone moves and the constant movement is perfect for me as a shooter because I can shoot the ball and there's good spacing, but I can make reads off screens and cuts. So I just thought it was the perfect fit for me as a player. Uh, and obviously I shoot the three, but I think I can do other things too, start to get inside as I develop my body, that kind of stuff. So, you know, Lafayette basketball is just the perfect system for me. I just think I fit in great. Did Lafayette find you or did you find Lafayette? So we found Lafayette first. I went to their elite camp my freshman year. Um, and I've always known about Lafayette. It's always been my favorite uh, Patriot League school. Um, and it's a great combination of academics and basketball. And I just knew it was the right spot for me, so. Did you get an opportunity to, to watch Justin Jaworski in action? He, you know, nobody loved to shoot the threes more than he did. And I think yeah. he's increased his range dramatically now uh, with the Oklahoma Thunder uh, in the G League. Uh, if you want to emulate somebody, that's not a bad guy to emulate. Definitely, yeah. I've definitely watched some film on him. He's a, he's a great shooter. So, and talk a little bit about academic. 22 threes oh. last night, uh, Gary. We, we could have used Kyle out there making no, a couple more of them. <laughs> You know, Coach, watching that ball game just quickly as an aside, you guys had some open threes. You just, you know, that's a tough yeah, place to shoot. With the... At that level, you, those closeouts are a little quicker, a uh, yeah. little, little more length, um, you know. But um, as I said, I think it was a learning experience for us. Well, Kyle was ready to take them on. I know, yeah, I know he was. <laughs> ready to go. Kyle, you know how important academics are at Lafayette. What do you want to get out of Lafayette academically? So I've always thought about being a builder and design and having creativity. So I'm definitely thinking about uh, starting my academic career with engineering. Um, so I definitely want to start in engineering. So I just thought that Lafayette was the perfect school for me because of the engineering program. And I thought it was the right level of basketball that I could be an engineer uh, and play basketball at. So it's the perfect spot. You know, as I look at your bio, you're such a well-rounded young man. You, you play the trumpet. Are you pretty good at that? Well, I haven't, I haven't played that in a couple of years, but... <laughs> So you put that away for a while. I, I did put that away. I had to focus on shooting three. So I'll use your quote. You say you're passionate about drawing. Are you quite the artist? I am. Yep. So it's uh, definitely an outlet for me to show my creativity. So that's definitely why I want to do engineering. So I think it's that building. It's that creativity that I've always wanted to do. So I can't wait well, to, to do that at Lafayette. Well, I kind of look forward to some of your, uh, your art products. Uh, you love photography, which is along the art line also. Yes, I do. Yep. And a skier. I am a skier too, yep. I've been skiing since I was, uh, I think it was four years old that uh, mom started teaching me, so. So coach, you might want to take those skis away for four years. <laughs> <laughs> but we got, the, we got the mountains very close to us. I'll have to, I'll have to block that off. He can't, he can't <laughs> go up to Route 33. So. Yeah, you know your luck with injuries for four years. Don't let him get on skate skis. Yeah, I'll, put this, I'll put the skis in the closet for a few years. That's a good idea, I'm, I'm up for that. <laughs> Kyle, we invite you to watch our ball games this year. Find out what your teammates are going to be like when you get here. Uh, are you expecting to have a, a really good senior season on that on your ball club? Yep. So it's uh, uh, NMH has had a great history of, of teams and guys, and this is actually probably one of our most talented um, year of guys. We have a couple of guys going to Northwestern, a uh, guy going to Columbia. So we're going to be really, really good this year. So uh, we just got our schedule, and we have a 40-game season, um, our first game. What? Wow, I know. Um, first game start this weekend, so I just I can't wait to get going uh, senior year and just COVID last year. I'm just so excited to finally play a real basketball season. So, and uh, Go, you sound like a terrific young man. Go ahead, Fran. He's our second enemy and N M H uh, young man. Andy Moore was our first, and he was a tremendous guy. 
Uh, so we're looking forward to having Kyle in the fold. Uh, we are too, Kyle. We look forward to seeing you on campus. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you. Coach Good O, we get, a chance, we get a chance, Coach O, to uh, look at your ball club on Thursday night when they take on Cornell at 7.30. Uh, you mentioned court. That's Friday night there. Or Friday, I'm if sorry, you, it is Friday night. If you night. show up on Thursday, we'll be just practicing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll show up when John shows up, so it'll be Friday night. Uh, John Cornell, me. Cornell's a pretty good team, so we should see a good game on, on Friday Oh, night. yeah, they're very good. They play uh, extremely hard. They really push the ball, and uh, transition's going to be key in it. You know, they run a lot of prints and stuff. You have Coach Earl um, back doors. Uh, uh -huh. They may have had 15 back doors against Binghamton. Um, it was uh, a sight to behold. I know Coach Leon will be very excited to see them going back door. He loves that, you know. Uh, <laughs> Just go the other way. <laughs> you know, run, away, <laughs> run away from the ball. You know, it's interesting, Fran, I, listening to Kyle, and I, I, I'm just partial to this. You know, we, you and I both talk about the ability to see the game, and I, maybe I'm crazy, but I just think a, a kid whose brain thinks that way, who sees things differently, uh, I, I'm excited about the potential for him to maybe grasp the nuances because – you know, it is an art form. When, when you play a passing game and you have to balance the floor and move the ball and, and it, it, it and so recognize much. and react. I mean, yeah. that's, a, yeah. and it, that takes a certain creative creativity. The bet Brian Burke was my favorite of all time. He had eyes like a fly, you know, just every, yeah. and he could see things before they, they would happen. And uh, so I like that about Kyle thinking that way. We'll see if it translates, but good luck on Friday. Can't wait to be, Back in the gym with people. Wow. Should I can't wait coming. either. Uh, it's been a great night. We certainly congratulate uh, the four student athletes who will be coming to Lafayette as basketball recruits, Kay and Sauda and Emma and Kyle. And uh, thanks to Kia and Fran for taking time out of their very busy schedule. John, I'll see you Friday night, 730. I'll, I'll be there, Gary. For all thanks, of us on National Signing Day, thank you so much for watching. I'm Gary Labot. Good night, everybody. <laughs>